This is Dustin Harper, Senior Project Manager for Harmon Construction. Welcome back to the Shenandoah Valley Academy project. We're at the ending phase of this project and I'm going to give you an overview of what we've done. We're in the gymnasium area. This was the existing gymnasium. There wasn't a lot of scope in here, but there were some significant changes. Previous to our renovation, they didn't have any conditioned space. Now they had heat in here, but they didn't have any air conditioning. So oftentimes they had uh, to open doors or they had these large fans in here to kind of get some of this heat out. Since then, we've installed these air conditioning systems and ran some of this fabric ductwork, which you'll see overhead. And what that does is when the system turns on, it inflates like a balloon and supplies air. One great thing about it is it's impact resistant. So whether it's inflated like a balloon or when it isn't, any sort of basketball or baseball or anything like that can hit it without any damage to the system. Let's go take a look at the new addition. So here we are in the front of the, the new addition that we built. We have the brick wall that actually used to be the front of the exterior of this building. There was a slight overhang on it, but you could see the exposed brick. And then right here where I'm standing used to be the front doors. So in this spot, that's now the interior, used to be an exterior overhang. We added all this storefront, so it just allows such a ton of light in here. And in this upper area, we have some more storefront with some arched windows that just, once again, bring in some more light. So looking behind me, we have this open area. It, it's an octagon shape, and it kind of opens into the concession area. It was challenging to construct. I had a lot of angles up there. Everything had to match up perfectly from the, the foundation all the way up. But as you can see, it's well worth it with that open architectural feature. Moving on, we have the concession area for the school. There's some concession appliances in there. There's a pantry for food services and uh, just a lot of countertops for them to serve and really utilize the space. We're in the hallway and where we're standing is about seven feet higher than the original addition. The original addition, you'd walk down several steps and you'd be about seven feet lower. But what we did is constructed a more or less a retaining wall, backfilled this whole area, so now our grading is up seven foot higher than it was. In this space, we have a family restroom and some men and women's restrooms, and as well as some locker rooms down there. And that, once again, gives a lot more versatility to the space. We're outside the building in the footprint of what used to be the pool. This whole area was enclosed. It took a lot of concrete, it took a lot of fill. We used some RDC, some structural fill to bring the grade up and allow for suitable building conditions. You could see this is a basically how much grade we had to bring up. This is actually the grade of the new addition in there. So we did have to build a retaining wall and backfill it with a tremendous amount of material to bring everything up to where this needed to be for this addition. This patio area also allows the school to have events out here. And this view that was previously closed in by the pool, now it opens it up and you can see the, the mountain line over there. It's a nice and pretty view for the campus. Thanks for joining me from the demolition phase all the way to the completion phase out here at Shenandoah Valley Academy. We're really lucky to work with such great clients and hope that they really enjoy their new facility.